Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane. This video is part of my underrated game series and today we're going to be talking about PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and the PlayStation Vita. Welcome back to Underrated Games, Volume 8 in the series. Um, so we're just going to go through a couple of PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and touch on a little bit of PlayStation Vita on, you know, some games that I believe that <clears throat> they need a little bit more attention that they're, uh, than they're getting. They, you know, these games are a lot better than a lot of people give them credit for. So the first up we're going to start with is uh, Silphie The Lost Planet on PlayStation 2. It's released in 2001 by Working Designs. And I have to say that this is kind of a throwback game. Um, it feels a lot like the first Silphie with a lot better graphics, which is not a bad thing. Uh, you select your weapons back and forth and, and do everything that you did in the first Silphie basically and um, you know it, there's a lot of strategy on how you can pick your weapons and you know get through the rest of the game and I actually enjoy it quite a bit uh, unfortunately this was right when working designs was having a little bit of problems with their their newest Sony rep that they had gotten and uh, the relationship between working designs and Sony dissolved pretty quickly after that. Next up we have Tribes Aerial Assault on the PlayStation 2, released 2002 by Sierra. Uh, this game was actually released really close to the height of Tribes on the PC being very very popular. Uh, I had a friend who they, they had an entire guild of people that that's all they did was they played tribes and uh, it looked like a great game and when it came out on the PlayStation 2 I definitely wanted to try it. Uh, Aerial Assault is a little bit more leaning towards the lightweight uh, skimmers where you just kind of skim along the ground with your jetpack and stuff and I think Sierra did too good of a job with uh, making the game a little too similar to the PC. Uh, a lot of the PC players looked at the game and unfortunately they stuck with the PC version of the game instead of giving the PlayStation 2 version a try. I actually like this game a lot. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the Tribes 2 uh, first-person shooter engine is great. Uh, the weapon system is great whichever loadout that you're choosing is is going to affect your gameplay and reflect heavily on what you can and cannot do but honestly I think that their fan base was stuck on the PC and was unwilling to move over to something new but other than that I think it's a great game next up we have Brutal Legend on the PlayStation 3 now this game actually released on multiple multiple consoles I think it was PS3 and Xbox 360 I don't think the Wii got a version of it um, but if I'm wrong correct me in the comments below it was released in 2009 by Electronic Arts um, the game is hilarious it's one of those weird games where it can't really decide what it is uh, is it a driving simulator is it a Guitar Hero ripoff is it uh, a 3D you know, beat em up like God of War. Is it a strategy game? It's all of them. Plus you get all of the comedic acts of Jack Black telling you this larger than life fantastical story with these wonderful cameos from rock legends like Ozzy Osbourne or uh, people from Motorhead. And I mean, it's, it's just so good. And the music, of course, the music is great, but people don't really talk about this game that much, and I don't know if it's because um, it never got 
like a PS4 upgrade or anything like that or any kind of HD remaster or if that was going to be too hard because of all the music licensing and stuff like that but um, I watched this game kind of like fade into obscurity. Next we have Splatterhouse for the PlayStation 3 released in 2010 by Bandai Namco. Uh, Splatterhouse is very tongue-in-cheek like or at least this one is very tongue-in-cheek where the mask basically taunts you as the player of like you know oh you're not strong enough to to go get your girlfriend back you're not you know quit quit being so weak and stuff like that but it's funny and the over-the-top gruesomeness of the game definitely pushes it more towards a comedy than a horror aspect uh, I mean, like, just some of the the, the fa fatal moves that you can pull on things where you just, like, just tear them completely apart. And it's great. It might be a little gory for some of you, but for those of you that can, you know, get through some of the, uh, the super gory stuff that's actually to the point of being comedy, I can't suggest this game enough. Okay, next up we have SSX on the PlayStation 3. SSX was released in 2012 by EA Sports. Not EA Big, it's just EA Sports. This leans away from the arcade feel and more towards the simulator feel, although not too much. Um, unfortunately, this game did not get a lot of press and did not get a lot of attention because of the games that happened between SSX on the PlayStation 3 and SSX Tricky on the PlayStation 2. Uh, those games that happen in between, I, I cannot suggest, but SSX on the PlayStation 3 is good. It has a wonderful engine. It has a neat challenge system where you can create challenge for other challenges for other players to try to accomplish. Um, and it's SSX, and I really hope that EA can bring this series back to us and and make it just mindless fun like it used to be okay finally we have army core of hell on the playstation vita released in 2012 by square enix now a lot of people compare this game to pikmin and they're not wrong um you do run around with multiple troop types and you have to select which troops do what but it's definitely gorier than that um it is not it is not evil pikmin evil pikmin is uh uh warlord this is satanic pikmin and yeah i know you're you're in hell though i mean you're in hell you're a greater demon trying to to uh, command lesser demons and get through various combats it's not very puzzle oriented it's more uh figure out how to beat certain things in combat and then have your tr troops survive enough so it's it's very very combat oriented but it's still a great game unfortunately it's still locked on the playstation vita right now but i hope that one day someone will have the foresight to actually go through and give this a hd remaster and bring it up to the playstation 4. but that's all that i've got for you on this episode I hope that you've discovered something new. If there's a game in here that you've discovered and that you absolutely figured out that you've loved it and that I've helped you find it, please let me know in the comments below. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.